Hey Capricorn, hope you're all doing well. This is Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your weekly general love reading. So Capricorn, we're gonna find out what is going on between you and your person of interest, whoever's on your mind, whoever's in your energy. This could be someone that you're connecting with, kicking it with. It could also be an ex or past lover, okay? We're gonna find out. So Capricorn, this could resonate for you if you have Capricorn and your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? It will not resonate for every Capricorn out there because this is a general love reading, okay? So please do check your moon and rising and Venus sign if this doesn't resonate. Also, I do several general love readings for each zodiac sign per month. So if this one doesn't resonate, please do check out my other readings because you may find one that does, okay? So Capricorn, what is going on? You and your person. Let's see. I do these readings weekly, guys. So if these resonate, if you like my style of reading, please do show some love, comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay, so Capricorn, let's get right into your reading. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot, one of my favorites. And I have a new deck to clarify. It's called the Tarot Illuminati. Illuminati. I love that word. Okay, let's get right into your energy. Capricorn. This is a timeless love reading, but it can play out in the month of May or it could take place over the next several weeks or it could have occurred in the recent past, okay? Capricorn, the current mutual energy between you and your person is the Ten of Wands. So this speaks about having a lot of burden, a lot of responsibility. You may have been dealing with this person for quite some time. Tens is also about endings, okay, near completion. There's also a big mountain in pass in the back. So I do feel like, you know, this has been a very arduous journey for you dealing with this person. You may feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. This also can indicate worry, okay? You can be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. What is the challenge here? Three of swords, okay? So heavy, heavy heartbreak, heart pain, emotional pain, whatever you want to call it, disappointment. There's something here that definitely you're getting over. Um, And you, it may have just been a recent breakup because the three of swords is upright, okay? You could be dealing with an air sign. And as I get more into the reading, I'll clarify if that three of swords has to deal with a third party energy. But right now, you know, right now, there's just um, the challenge is getting over some kind of heartbreak because something is very heavy. There's a um, just a burden that you're carrying with regard to this person. Now, in the recent past, we have the two wands. So someone had choices, possibly trying to find out how to move forward, planning, OK, taking charge. Wands is all about action. OK, so I do feel that may have been um, an uh like a fork in the road kind of thing and you guys may have been trying to see if you guys can move forward with this connection or not all right whatever it is it ended in a lot of heartbreak okay and that may be what you're you're feeling right now at this current moment all right so capricorn what is on your mind we have the page of wands in reverse so you're, you're pulling back okay you are not happy about the situation you're no longer going to feed it okay um Page of Wands just also talks about you just, you know, you're just protecting your energy. You're retracting, you, you're withdrawing something here. You're not passionate. You don't want to move forward. You, or you may be moving away from this person, okay, again, because of some kind of heartbreak um, or some kind of situation that was just very burdensome, all right? You may be going, through, going um, down another path as well. We'll find out what that Page of Wands is all about in your foundation what you may not be seeing is the three of wands in reverse so this is a lack of planning forward movement okay yeah i do feel like this is your energy you're pulling back from this person for sure you're retreating and coming into the moment what is going on the knight of swords you could be dealing with an air sign um i do feel like your person could be trying to communicate or come back or say something to you anything with the swords you know this is truthful honest communication but the, the way it's delivered, it's not the most, um, you know, pleasant, okay? So this person may be trying to um, tell you something here. It definitely could be honest and truthful, but, it, you know, they may be kind of coming a little impulsive. The Knights, Knight of Swords is like the fastest moving Knight of the deck, okay? So they may become rushing in, very impulsive, possibly because they see you now, you know, retreating and you're, no, you're now pulling away from them, okay? You're not giving them the attention anymore, your energy, okay? 
Now, how do you view yourself, Capricorn? The Queen of Swords. So yeah, you're a badass, guys. Um, all right, so you definitely, you're a little cold, a little detached. You're all about, um, you know, what is going to serve you and you're cutting out anybody or any way that's getting in the way of your happiness of your forward progression okay you're also um yeah you're, you're just you're cutting it out so if this person comes to communicate to you about something they better come correct because you have a sword in your hand and you're not having it okay definitely strong air energy here um between you and your person yeah things are just definitely a little cold very distant between you guys um but there's a lot that needs to be said here regarding this heartbreak, regarding this situation, all right? So what do we have? Your partner's energy, what are they coming with? The world, okay. So they can want some change here. Um, the world also talks about, you know, the universe um, being in charge and being in control of the situation. So your partner could be feeling um, like just it's out of their hands, okay? But at the same time, they want some kind of positive outcome, some kind of forward movement here. I do feel like, again, it's a, it's a completion of a cycle or something here. You've been dealing with this person for some time with the Ten of Wands, okay? And it's causing you a lot of worry. And I think it's gotten to the point where you're just like, I need to move on. I need to pull back and I need to go at, I need to cut this person out of my life and maybe um, move forward here. In your emotions and feelings, Capricorn, we have the King of Cups. So you have a lot of love here still. It could be love for this person. It also could be love for yourself, okay? Um... But you're feeling very, um, you know, you want to nurture something here. We're going to have to clarify everything here. But the King of Cups, this also could be someone else who's approaching you in your energy. And you may be um, having some feelings or emotions for them, okay? You also could just be um, feeling very uh, open to love, wanting something new, um, wanting to go again in a different direction, cutting out something that hasn't been working for you possibly with this past person, if it is a past person. Um, and now you're open to love. You're open to receiving. You're vulnerable, okay? Um, yeah, this is you ready to love. Let's get an outcome card for you, Capricorn. King of Pentacles. Guys, you have someone coming in. We have we have two kings on the spread, okay, in a spread. So someone who's very loving possibly also have King of Pentacles, someone wanting some kind of stability, uh, may have a solid offer for you. Capricorn, this also could be you, okay, really feeling um, in a good place, feeling abundant, feeling like you're very uh, secure and um, have a lot of security. You also could be um, in a place where you're financially doing very, very well for yourself, um, establishing yourself, something that is going to um, bring you a lot of abundance down the road, okay? So this could be you investing in yourself, um, building a pinnacle, building a business, an empire. I love it, guys, all right? <laughs> Let's get um, the bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Cups. So this is all about fulfillment, happiness, okay? Um, yeah, getting, you know, doing something that is going to leave you feeling joy and just bliss and just overall having the emotional support um so this is very beautiful okay you could be trying to get to your nine of cups all right and i'm gonna clarify everything that we see here so yeah let's let's get right into it because there's a lot of energy and um they, they, i could definitely be reading for several capricorns right so let's get right into it i'm gonna start with that nine of cups about emotional fulfillment happiness bliss Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. For those of you guys are interested, this is what the Tarot Illuminati looks like. I will put it in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing it from Amazon, as I always do, because um, yeah, I'm definitely I'm getting my tarot, my tarot deck game up, okay? Alright, so let's get into this energy. Why is the nine of cups here? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Nine of Cups for Capricorn. This is the overall theme, okay? So I do feel like you're just, you're trying to get to your happy place, okay? Where you're overall just fulfilled, happy, Queen of Cups in reverse. So it may require you, um, you know, pulling back from someone who just isn't showing you love, okay? So really withholding your love from someone and, you know, putting in love, love into yourself, okay? We also have the Four of Swords. So yeah, I do feel like you you are maybe going through a, a period where you're resting, okay? You're taking the time. Um, You may have stepped back or blocked this person with the Four of Swords. You know, you're very quiet, okay? And you're also in this like very peaceful energy. There's something here that was a lot of conflict in the past, but you're putting that sword down, at least for this current moment, because you need to figure 
stuff out okay you need to take a step back so i do feel like um you could be in this energy queen of cups in reverse where you're just not showing this person any feelings and emotions okay right now now the current energy is the ten of wands so burdens also a lot of worry okay a lot of responsibilities we're gonna find out what that ten of wands is about nine of wands okay so someone is definitely here um, who's feeling very wounded, very, um, like they've, they've went through a whole battle. Okay. This certainly could be you. Um, you're tired. Okay. You're exhausted. You have just been through like hell and back with this person. Okay. Um, but you're still strong. Okay. But you know, this is telling with the nine of wands, you're still powering forward. You're still going after what it is that you want, something that you're passionate about, something that you desire. Okay. You're not letting that person, um, get in the way of that. So even though you're bruised, you're battered, you're wounded, you're moving forward. You're taking charge a lot of strong strong energy you're, you're so powerful guys um i mean and the challenge is getting over this heartbreak you know so this person this person really um you know stabbed you in the heart stabbed you in the back or something here there's something that caused you a lot of pain so um yeah you want to move forward but at the same time you know the challenge is you know healing that heart the hangman okay so pisces energy so yeah you may be stuck you may be trying to find and the answers but i do i feel like with the four of swords and the hangman you're taking a step back um you're not speaking you're keeping quiet you're trying to find out how to approach the situation the hangman is also about getting a different perspective being enlightened okay so while you're in that hangman you're figuring stuff out okay so why is it three of swords here in the challenge position um again getting over some heartbreak regarding the situation whatever this person did it caused you a lot of um deep you know emotional wounded pain the strength in reverse you could be dealing with a leo here so yeah i mean it requires a lot of strength right that you feel like right now you just do not have you know um you also feel like you need to just pull back you know the strength is also about resisting having control over yourself and so while you're going through this heartbreak you're you're pulling back you're not you know, letting you're trying not to let this person get to you. They've gotten to you and they've gotten to you enough. And so you're just like, I need to just, I need to retreat. I need to pull back. Um, the two of wands in the recent past, let's find out what that's about. Two of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, 10 of cups. So this person could have promised you everything, promised you a happy home, a really loving, fulfilling um, relationship. You also could just been in a very long standing relationship with this person. But I feel with the two of wands, there was a decision that someone had to make or there was two different paths possibly. Okay. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign. We also have Leo Sag Aries, but I feel um, this decision had to, um, it may have jeopardized this family situation or a loving, um, you know, uh, relationship here you also could have kids with this person there's two little kids in the back um so yeah it could have sabotaged this relationship or this family um situation or possibly even a marriage here okay why is the ten of cups here but you could have you know i do feel there's a lot of love between you guys with the ten of cups yep six of cups so this was definitely um a person that you dealt with in the past you guys had a lot of memories okay you could have been dealing with each other for like six months six years ten months ten years i'm feeling here um but also if anything you guys have a very strong standing up uh, very loving um relationship okay and with the six of cups this is the past person a past soulmate here all right um you may have went back to if not you guys are just um having nostalgia about this relationship you know it was very emotional fulfilling this person was there for you you filled each other's cups up um it also could have been like a college sweetheart. You guys could really have gone way back with that Six of Cups. Um, yeah, strong soulmate, past life uh, energy here. The Page of Wands in reverse. So yeah, result of that heartbreak, maybe that person decided to go a separate way or um, to leave you heartbroken. There's something here that caused some kind of um, trauma. It was a decision, I think, that was made recently. Page of Wands in reverse. So you're deciding to pull back, okay? We have the judgment. That's right. Because this person made a bad judgment call regarding you. And you're like, well, I'm not I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm moving back. I'm pulling back. I'm retreating. And I'm not giving you my energy anymore. The judgment is also about a decision. It, it could be also a marriage here, um, a reconciliation. With the judgment in reverse, you know, you could be saying no to it. Okay? So if this person wants to come back and reconcile, make it up to you, you could be pulling back and saying, no, I don't want that. Um, I just want to go down my own path. Or certainly judgment in reverse could be an end of a, a marriage here. Okay? End of a 
very long committed relationship we also have ooh, the world so again the world this is faded this is being um divinely orchestrated by the universe you just you don't have control of the situation anymore all right in the foundation we have the three of wands in reverse so this is like a lack of forward movement planning okay this is like typically like you know watching waiting for your ships to come in and it's not okay because well there's a breakup here clear as day there's a breakup someone had a different path here with the two wands or even if this person didn't decide that they didn't want to be with you um or you know they didn't walk away i feel like you may have decided to end it because of possibly they were dealing with a past person a soulmate energy because you guys could have had that ten of cups with each other and they could have been entertaining someone who they had a, a relationship with in the past okay that they were very fond of okay so um yeah it caused regardless it caused some kind of heartbreak and you had to pull back all right we also have the four of cups in reverse so yeah you're definitely letting go of some kind of disappointment um a lack of fulfillment this person you know you may just be i'm um, done with this person gotten to a point where they may have just been too comfortable with you, okay? And so you're releasing that. You're um you're not allowing that person to leave you empty-handed or leave you um unhappy, okay? So you may be working on your healing and you may just be telling this person, I'm not gonna move forward in here anymore with you. But yeah, I definitely feel like that that's the case here. I feel like, you know, this person may have just kept things, um, they may have kept things stuck, okay, or they may have just been considering other people or other um it could be an ex or just a past life person or karmic here with the six of cups or someone that they were dealing with on the side. It, regardless, it caused some kind of heartbreak here, okay? It caused you to be stuck and you just got to a point where you're just not going to take it anymore here. With the nine of wands, you're moving forward. Um, and yeah, you're, you're done. Okay, let's get... But I don't feel like this person really deceived you or manipulated you. I just feel like they may have just kept you hanging around too long. Coming into the moment, we have the knight of swords. So this person may be coming in with some kind of communication... Um, it could be very like, you know, cut to the point, but it's honest, right? You got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They may be thinking very logically now, okay, about the situation. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Queen of Wands. They can be dealing with a Leo Sag Aries and we have the Page of Wands. So they could be communicating to you, whoever they dealt with, okay? It could be a Queen of Wands, someone they were just passionate about. There was just a lot of physical attraction and it was just sex, okay, guys? I'm just saying here. Uh, Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So it could have just been someone that they just had a lot, like a lust for. Like they just had a lot of strong, strong physical attraction. And they could be communicating to you that that's all it was. It wasn't anything more. And look what they gave up. They gave up the Ten of Cups with you guys. I'm just saying, you know? So they could be communicating that to you. It also could be... um yeah, let's get another card for that. Let's get another card for the Queen of Wands and the um, Page of Wands. Regardless, they're communicating to you about something that they, they want to move forward in. They're taking some kind of action here with the Wand Energy. Leo, Sag, Aries. What do we need to know about the Queen of Wands? Let's get some more clarity for Capricorn. Okay justice mm, okay something's gonna be balanced guys because the justice is upright you could be dealing with a libra okay we definitely had strong air energy with the knight of swords but yeah this person may not want things to be more fair now things be more balanced okay if someone got um in the middle or interfered in this connection possibly a fire sign i do feel like they want now things to be more equal okay they also could be going through some kind of legal situation just as with, an, with a fire sign that may be the reason um, why they're now communicating with you. There's something here that they want um, to be fair, more equal, okay? So we're, yeah, take it how it resonates, guys. Regardless, there's some balance coming in. They're gonna communicate to you about possibly even a legal situation that they're involved in that they may have been um, keeping you stuck for that reason or they're gonna communicate to you about them wanting to be more balanced and more equal in this relationship. It's like about reciprocation, right? So you you have the Queen of Swords, okay? So let's get some clarity on the Queen of Swords for Capricorn. I don't feel like this is another person. I think this is just you being a little cold, detached, moving away from this person, cutting out anything. Again, that does not serve you because that is what the Queen of Swords does. We have the Queen of Swords again in reverse. So you may even be just a little um, nasty to this person because it's in reverse. Okay. So you're very angry, okay? I feel like you're angry. You may be angry about what this person's coming to you, whatever that Aries or um, Aries Leo Sag energy is all about. Whatever they're communicating to you about that fire sign, 
Okay, if they're stuck in a legal situation or something, you could be, um, it could not be the greatest news. Yeah. In fact, it, it's not going to be good news at all because you have the nine of swords in reverse, but you're releasing. So that's the good thing. It's going to keep you feeling like um, stuck up in your head, sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety and frustration over it. Okay, I feel like this person may have just not, yeah, told you. They may have kept you stuck in the hangman energy or something for some time because of that. Okay, because of whatever this communication is, is that's going to come to you. But you're going to release it. The nine of swords is in the reverse. So whatever um, that information is about, you're going to just um, let it go. Okay? It's going to keep you stuck for a little bit. You may have a few sleepless nights, not able to eat, frust frustrated, and up in your head. But two of swords, this is a decision that's going to be made here. Okay? So a head over heart decision. But the, the thing is, is that someone is not seeing something clearly. This could be you, Capricorn. You'd be making a decision to cut this person off without really hearing them out. You're like, uh-uh, I don't care. Talk to my hand, okay? <laughs> the the world, your your person has the world card, so that's the energy they want to bring. They want to bring positives, um, positive outcomes or um, turn things around. This is like positive change, because they see you cutting them out. They see you here, you know, maybe stuck in your, up in your head, trying to make a decision about what the hell to do with them, right? Why is it two of swords here? Rather, let me find out what the world is all about. What do they want? What's your partner want with this world? Speak or forever hold your peace. Why is the world here? Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles, guys. Oh, damn. So they may want some kind of stability back into this situation. And we have temperance. So they want some healing to a situation. If they were... They may not be considering marriage if they weren't before or if you guys had separated and are going through some kind of legality situation here with the justice card. They could want now to piece it back together, to come back with the Ace of Pentacles or for you um, a long-standing commitment, a marriage now, okay? Um, sorry, there's like a bug around here. <laughs> um, but yeah, they want something real, tangible, stability back to the situation. And with the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, they want healing, okay? They want things, again, to be balanced here. With the justice and temperance okay they want to heal the situation back together so the king of cups is in your emotions and feelings so you're trying to maybe find you have a love for this person i think they could be a water sign okay but yeah ten of swords you're looking at this as an ending you're like completing this cycle you're like not really sure about that whole situation again so yeah you have love for them um there's still emotions and feelings that you have but They've devastated you. There's some kind of possibly even feeling of betrayal or just like at a point where you've just hit rock bottom with them and you just cannot go through that cycle again. Yep, the tower. Guys, this is like just something just came tumbling down in this situation. I don't feel like you can, you can revisit this again. You feel like this is just done, done, a done deal, okay? Yeah, but the tower card, it, you know, something comes tumbling down, but then it's able to rebuild something on a more solid structure. So, um, yeah, you could be ending this cycle here with this person, but there's something new coming in. It could be with this person as well, because the King of Pentacles, um, or this could be you, again, just establishing yourself, working on, you know, your financial security, working on your abundance, your career. But something you, you're viewing this as an ending, because in your emotions and feelings, you used to see this just closing the chapter. Ten of Wands, we started out with, we're going to the Ten of Swords and then the Tower, okay? Done, done, deal. So let's get a card for the King of Pentacles for Capricorn, beautiful energy. This is you, Capricorn. So regardless, you're on top of the game, okay? You are the dominating energy here, right there in the outcome. You're strong and you know what you want, okay? So you're all about manifesting something abundant. Let's get a clarity on the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. What do we need to know for the King of Pentacles? Ooh, what do we have? We have the pa Page of Swords in reverse. So, um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're not communicating with this person about what you're doing. You may be again, keeping quiet because you have the Four Swords right there and as an overall theme. So you're resting, you're regrouping, you're putting in time energy into yourself, okay? With that King of Pentacles, you're just focused on yourself, putting... Um, you're not giving this person any attention because you pull back from them, right? So let's get one more card. But more than, more importantly, you're not communicating with this person. You're not letting them know how you feel. They also could be spying on you, trying to figure out what's going on, getting information, but not coming to you directly. Let's get one more card for Capricorn for the outcome, please. Sorry, this is a very long reading. I'm sorry. It was just so much to say. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. So yeah. You're going to be feeling a little stuck 
um, trapped. And I think that's probably why you may just leave this alone because there's still energy around it that you're just conflicted, okay? This person has just um, caused you too much mental conflict. All these damn swords, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, there's something here that that's why you're pulling back in this Four of Swords energy. That's why you're regrouping, resting, and you're keeping quiet. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place here with the Temperance. We had two worlds come here out here because there's, there's a lot of change going on. And with the Tower, it's best that you don't make any quick, sudden movements because something, again, has to come down. The universe is very much um, in control of this situation, of this connection between this person. So, um, yeah, you have to definitely... Um, you may have to release working on some kind of healing or releasing some kind of conflict or negativity that you have surrounding the situation, betrayal, resentment, okay? But there's a lot of negative energy that's still surrounding you regarding this person that's keeping you from being able to, able to move forward. But in the meantime, you're working on your pinnacle. You're working on your abundance, your security, your stability. You're doing the right thing, Capricorn. So that is what I have for you. Let me know if this resonates. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.